Welcome back. So if you ever wondered how far and wide technology in the digital landscape can stretch, well, this discussion really is for you. AI is being introduced in legal practices. The University of Johannesburg is advancing in its legal education with the launch of its innovative virtual reality courtroom game. At the same time, an AI-powered lawyer has recently launched in South Africa. My AI Lawyer, as it's called, was designed by Legal Interact and uh, Legal and Tax to provide uh, ordinary citizens with easy access to legal knowledge and justice. So how exactly does all of this innovation work? Let's bring in Associate Professor and head over the Department of Private Law at the Faculty of Law at UJ, um, uh, who is, of course, a Professor Michelle van Eck. And then we're also joined by Raphael Siegel, who is the founder of my AI lawyer. Guys, a good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us. I was saying just before we went on air that the two of you don't know each other and obviously are working on these initiatives uh, separately. But I said, I think this is a match made in heaven. I might just be playing um, career Cupid right now. But tell us about uh, your innovations, if you'll allow me. Prof, I'll let you start. Um, what is it that you guys have been up to there at UJ? Thanks so much. And yes, it's a very exciting time here at the University of Johannesburg. Um, so we've just recently on the last week, Friday, on the 19th of July, launched the virtual reality courtroom game at the University of Johannesburg. Now, what really makes this quite special is that it was a collaborative effort between the Faculty of Law and the Johannesburg Business School, specifically the Grit Lab with Prof. Abaji Ade Abajola. So what we've done there is we've taken uh, the concept of gamification to assist us in transferring critical skills to our law students, specifically uh, problem-solving skills and, and a holistic approach. Now, the virtual court game really does integrate different levels of um, study as well as the different levels or different areas, disciplines mm. within the law. So creating, again, like I've said, this holistic approach. So very exciting time, and we are very excited to see where this project is going from here. Okay, I'm going to stay with you, Prof. And X, so you can paint a picture. I mean, I think of uh, virtual reality, for instance, and I imagine, I'm, so I'm trying to understand the physical manifestation of what this project would look like, right? So we're, are we wearing the VR goggles? Um, explain the experience for the user, if you can, as briefly um, as you can. Yes, yes, thank you. And um, So yes, it is a virtual reality. So if you think about the VR goggles and the handsets, uh, you would be fully immersed within the game. So you start off um, getting welcomed into a, a, a office, a law office, where you now meet your client. And from there, you then progress in this game to the actual court itself. So you, wow. allow, you have this ability to not only look, but interact, walk through the court, really uh, engage in that, in that space where a lot of students may not always have access to court uh, mm. and those experiences. So we do have, and the main thrust is the the actual virtual reality with a goggle, yeah. goggles. But we've also developed through Prof Abajida the three D uh, ver version that you can also do on the computer yeah. uh, if you don't have the the goggles. Yeah. Very fascinating, right? Okay, uh, Raphael, let me come to you because also exciting project that you're working on, a AI lawyer. Now, I think this is quite exciting because I might be um, one of those silly people that ask chat GPT existential questions, but you've actually uh, gotten uh, AI to answer real questions. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, I think just in terms of, of the work we do, um, Legal Interact has always been involved in building solutions for law firms and over time, we really wanted to uh, focus on, you know, just uh, infusing AI into our solutions. And in that journey of, of, building, of, of building AI in, we kind of saw the opportunity to build an access to justice platform. Um, and so we started to curate content into um, the AI engine. And I think that's really important is that when you're asking ChatGPT that information, that's just a central. That's just a central set of content that's, you know, not South African curated. It's not right. really our legislation, not our regulation, not. And so we're spending lots and lots of time making sure that uh, the content that we that we that we're providing is is our is our is our legislation, our labour acts, our basic conditions of employment, 
so 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 that's very important we spend we spend um every week we're going through through updated legislation and we're bringing it in and then i think just the second the second point is um we w it's available both on the web uh, my AI lawyer and it's available on whatsapp so i mean 94 wow. percent of south africans are available on 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 whatsapp we wanted to make it completely available and and, and we wanted to make it pervasive so it's so it's digital when you want it and human when you need it. It was really, um, you know, it's not it's not just an AI play. It's 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 a human in the loop play. Um, and we know that there's a there's a there's a crisis in getting um, this content into the hands of people. We also are very aware that if we can if we can get information into the hands of people who need it, we think that um, these the number of disputes that are, that are that are going out will probably probably be reduced. So, so that was a big, big part of it. Make it, make it accessible, make it accurate, and make it easy to uh, to understand um, when you're asking when you're asking those questions. I think the other part of it is it's not just about getting a, a answer. It it's it has a semantic understanding, so it can it deeply understands um, the complexity of the question, um, and it has a and it has a. And it has an, a sense of empathy when you when you when you're asking a question. I think, you know, one of the things we wanted to make sure is that when someone's asking the AI lawyer a question, it's not that you're talking to an AI engine. That there is no sense of feeling. Um, the very very uh, the most important thing for us was to build in a level of empathy and to build in a level of companionship. And our partners in the process, legal and tax, were were emphatic that. Um, you know, we've got to make people feel like they can really be yeah. comfortable. So, so we wanted to let them have this opportunity. But not only is it that uh, you're talking to WhatsApp, you have an option when you're on WhatsApp that you can push a button and you'll get a curated answer to the question and it will email it to you. But if you want, you can connect to the human lawyer. We think that's really empowering. That's incredible, right? And, and such an exciting time. And I, I'm just trying to imagine what that would mean for, um, you know, possible bottlenecks in the justice system. But that's another discussion altogether. Um, I, I want to do this, though. Um, I'm curious, Raphael, about, you know, just how far you've gone out with the AI lawyer and also just the kind of questions that South Africans are asking. So, um, you know, what are the biggest I suppose legal issues that are being raised by South Africans that are that they are able to put on a on an AI uh, program, for instance. It's fascinating. Yeah. We have had, you know, the man in the street is definitely he's AI enabled. He mm. is not scared of AI. They need help, and we've had thousands and thousands of questions. We are we are very very proud of how we've been able to democratize um, access to justice through through this platform. Um, most of the questions coming through are a around labor. It's primarily around labor. Right. Um, there's a lot of stuff around matrimonial, um, ha just you know, house, ha householders um, uh, uh, disputes, wow. and, and that's about that's about fifty to sixty percent of 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 what we see coming through. Uh, and then there's all the peripheral kind of stuff that that that's that's. Um, coming through the system, yeah. but it's really a lot around, around labor. I yeah. think the one thing um, that, we, that we are really proud of is we've just won a Microsoft Global Award for, um, in, for being the inclusion change maker. Goodness. So I think, you know, Microsoft- Congratulations, beautiful. Thank you, thank you. And I think, you know, just in terms of, of the opportunity to impact society, what we're doing, what the profs doing, I think these are going to be material change makers to uh, creating a just society, to creating a better society for South Africans. And, um, you know, people on the street, our fellow South Africans, they're using these tools and uh, it, it, we're seeing it. We have had literally 80,000 questions pouring through our system. So we really are excited about where we're going. And we're at yeah. the beginning. We're a year into it. Yeah, just lastly before, um, and obviously what I want to do from the both of you is get details where people can, you know, get uh, get get um, uh, my AI lawyer and also um, the, the, the virtual courtroom. Um, but I think this is really interesting. You've got the news yesterday coming out from the president that um, uh, Chief Justice Mandy Samaya will be taking over the position of um, Chief Justice. Um, and uh, th there is, of course, the responsibility that... As uh, she has, many have said that, look, she really needs to improve on ICT and uh, digitiz digitization or digitalization of the justice system. 
words of advice, Prof, I think I'll give that to you, right, on, on the urgency and how she can go about doing that. Yeah, uh, thanks, thanks. I think it is an urgent issue. Uh, if you start looking at some of the challenges that uh, the legal fraternity is experiencing, especially with the advent of, of chat GPT, uh, a lot of lawyers are becoming, uh, getting into trouble uh, internationally on using chat GPT. Mm. Um, so, so there is not only a need for digital skills in this sense, but also digital ethical skills, if I can put it that way. Mm. Understanding what the tool is, what is its limitation, um, and then when is it appropriate to use it. Uh, I do think these tools are useful and they have a place within law, um, but I do think that we need urgent uh, engagement as to how do we use these tools as, as lawyers and then also as individuals that aren't trained in, in the law. Um, so there are various guidelines that have already been published internationally uh, from court systems guiding uh, lawyers on this. So there, there is some international um, precedent that can be adopted for a South African context. Right. So, the, so, so I would I would advise that that's maybe something to look at. What are the best practices that are currently being engaged in at, at the international space? Yeah. But then adopting that to SO specific uh, content. Okay. Um, and Prof, before I let you go, how do we get our hands on the virtual reality courtroom game? So they are current. It's currently for UJ, but uh, we are looking at expanding that. So if there are any queries, uh, they are welcome to come through on the UJ website, and then uh, just engage with me. My details are on the website, and then we can we can take it from there. Okay, great stuff. Really interesting work. And uh, Raphael, um, my AI lawyer. Can I give you the number? You can go into WhatsApp. It's yeah. as easy as this. Mm -hmm. You go uh, plus two seven mm -hmm. seven one. Mm -hmm. 526-8527 and you add it into your WhatsApp. You don't have to say hello, just say AI and uh, Robin will kick in and she's ready to answer your questions. Okay, I'm gonna, you have four, Listen, I'm going to ask you, you to four, give us that number again. I'm going to ask you to give us that number perfect. again. Yeah, go ahead, please. Plus two seven. Yeah. Seven one. Uh-huh. Five two six. Mm-hmm. Eight five two seven. Okay, great stuff. And, I've got it. And you type AI. Otherwise, go to myailawyer.tech. Yeah. And there's a link there and you'll see, uh, you can pick it up from there.